Welcome to Random Random Channel. Today I am going to show you how to make an cat and mouse chase game. So let's get started. First, open the scratch tab. When you open the scratch tab, this is the default screen that you will get. So let's go ahead and create the game. Click on create. You will get this. And let's start coding. Before that, let me choose the backdrop. The backdrop. To get the backdrop, you have to go to this icon. Just don't click it. Just hover around it and you'll get this. Hover on it and you'll get this. And say choose a backdrop. You'll get this backdrops. And I will search farm i'll choose the first one it looks good for me you can choose any of the backdrops you want so we have the cat it's the default sprite let me rename it cat and let's bring a mouse click on that icon and search mouse and you'll get this I'll get this but the sizes are too big let me make it small I'll say this as 70 no about 60 and this about 75 yeah it looks good let's go ahead and start to code first let's uh, control the mouse to do that Go to the mouse and then drag out of any green flag click. This is to start the program. This is the green flag that is start and this is stop when green flag click forever if means it will be checking whatever is there in if forever if key space press you, you drag and you drag and drop this block inside this if and it will get fit click on this white color and you will get the drop down menu choose up arrow first let's uh, do it for the all the arrows i'll just duplicate these Yeah, I have duplicated. Let's change the arrows up, down, right, and then left. Let's start the code. And for the up arrow, it will be change Y because Y is the standing line. You can see it here change y by change y by about hmm, 5 okay then change y by minus y for down arrow and for x it's a sleeping line you can see it over here x sleeping line so i'll drag the x block and put it here change x by 5 and for left arrow change x by minus y so let's check it out whether it works and yeah the most important thing where your mouse should be at the starting i'll say when green flag click go to x0 and y0 let's check it out yeah it's good but it's only pointing towards right let's fix that to fix that, drag the point in direction block and for up arrow, you can make it as 0 and for uh, down arrow, you have to make it as 180 and for right arrow, it will be 90 itself and for left arrow, you have to make it 
minus 90. Let's check this out. Yeah, it works. But it's in the same costume. Let's change the costume also. So bring out another when green flag lit. Bring out an forever block. And say next costume. But it's changing it, its costume rapidly. Let's put some weight. We'll say weight 0 0.4 seconds. Let's check it out. Yeah. <coughs> Yes, this looks good. Let's continue. Hmm. Next, we'll make the cat chase the mouse. So we'll go to cat and green flag click forever. Glide one second to mouse. So what is it, what it does that? It forever glides one second towards mouse. So let me show you what does it do. And yeah, the cat's position. I'll keep it over here. Go to this position. And yeah. We have a chase game. But the game keeps never ending. The game never ends. So to fix that, we'll put some lives for the mouse. So I'll stop the program, go to mouse, go to variables and say make a variable and I'll uh, name it as health and it's important to be for all sprites. Okay, click on OK and when green flag clicked, we want to set the health to um 10 yeah that will be okay set it to 10 and i'll put this health in the right side i don't like how it looks so let's let me change that double click on health and it will change into this put it wherever you want i'll make a new sprite for the health paint it i'm just gonna make a heart so go here Color 100%, saturation 81%, brightness 100%, or saturation 79%. Yeah, that will be okay. And make a square. Hold down shift and make a square. And go to this arrow that is called select. First, like this arrow mark, you place your mouse pointer on that click then hold down shift and turn it a bit and it will become a diamond then leave that and then leave the shift it or else it won't work properly after you do this let me zoom in yeah and select this icon over here and bring this point down you can see this point right Bring that down over here and drag this up and make it curved. Make another point here. To do that, click on this blue line and you will get this. After you do that, drag the left side. So we are going to do the same. Drag it to the left side and click on curve and then pull this up. And this is a hurt. But yeah, it looks good. I'll make the outline a bit smaller. We'll make it into two, I guess. Yeah, two is perfect. Go to the code. And there's no code for this. Just drag this and keep it over here. The size is too big. Make it into 70. And keep it over here. I'll drag this down a bit. And yes, that's it. So let's change our health of the mouse. So we'll go here. 
and forever we have to make another loop in the mouse drag out and when green flag click forever if or wait let me do an experiment repeat until touching cat touching cat make sure it's correct and then change health by minus one and after this i'll go to control and bring out wait until duplicate this touching cat so let's check it out <clears throat> Yeah, it's working fine. If we don't do this loop, it will change the lives rapidly. But we have a bug right now. The health keeps on going to negative numbers till the game is not ending. So what we'll do is that we'll make another sprite. And this is almost the ending of the game. But yeah. Color 0, saturation 59, brightness 100. And I'll make a square. Make sure it is x0, y0. So it keeps in middle and say. Yeah, and change the text color to white. You can change any handwriting. I'll choose handwriting. <coughs> Go here and say you you lost it's too small. I'll just resize it. I'll keep it over here. Yeah. Then I'll say if life is equal to zero. Yeah, I can do that. It looks too simple, but I like it this way. Life is equal to zero. I'll put it in a bracket. And I'll resize this also about this size and first let's take this out and group this see group and put this back in the middle and this should supposed to be grouped i don't know what happens okay it is grouped and do this yeah it's grouped i'll put it in the middle and yes so that's our game and to show this when green flag clicked hide and let's do the loop in this forever if go to variables bring out this health and go to operators equal sign health is equal to um, zero show show and it should stop all Stop all and go to front layer so that it be in the front. Go to front layer and green flag lit. Yeah, yeah, it's working fine. Let's check whether it will die. Three, two, one, and done. So this is your cat and mouse chase game project. Hope you had fun. Please try it out, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye.